Talk about your defensive game plan a little bit. You guys go zone late in the second half, and it really seemed to disrupt Murray's offense. Well, you know, again, for the second game in a row, our, our bigs were in foul trouble. And, uh, you know, I thought uh, Murray State was doing a great job attacking us and getting to the rim. Uh, they got some easy layups. Uh, they get the fastball in the post. They hit some threes. So we thought, you know, change our defense a little bit and just kind of see. And, uh, you know, they, uh, I believe they missed their first shot that got the uh, offensive board back. Uh, and we just kind of stuck with it down the stretch. And, you know, because it was, it was kind of, it, they, they were such on a, on a great momentum and they, as far as attack. And we just want to throw them out of the rhythm a little bit. And it just so happened that we probably played more zone. I tell you what, we played more zone this year than I ever wanted to. Uh, but, you know, when, when things are working for you, you know, we're just going to stick with it. And, uh, and, and we stuck with it all the way down the stretch. Talk about the work you guys did on Payne. I mean, you know, three for 14 from the field. And more turn, turnovers and assists today. I mean. You know, I, I thought our guys did a tremendous job guarding him. I uh, know he got to the bucket there a few times, especially to close the uh, first half. Uh, but you know what I, I thought also take, took him out of the game was, you know, he got two quick fouls. And I thought that kind of took it, took him out of his rhythm and, and him being in there and, and playing a lot of the plays. But, and, uh, you know, and, and I thought there's times when he came off some screens where we had two guys on him. Uh, we, you know, we, we try to treat him like uh, uh, Cannon because he, he's, he's very good, very deadly. And, um, you know, he kind of make their team, go, as, as their team goes, he goes. Or as he goes, their team goes. So, you know, we're trying to slow him down a little bit. It just so happened that he shot the ball poorly tonight. And, um, and uh, you know, credit to our guys, uh, but some of it too was because uh, he picked up some fouls and, and had to sit for a while. Talk about Roselle. I mean, I just saw him the other night, and then again today. I mean, uh, just seems to be kind of uh, more elevating his game player. Right? And, and again, you know, here's someone that's stepping up, and uh, you know, first year player, junior college player. You know, I, I think he's falling to the groove now as far as what's what what needs to be done. You know, early in the season, I was telling him to be a little bit more aggressive offensively, and uh, you know, and I told him too. And I was very honest when I said I didn't trust him defensively because he wasn't very focused defensively, and now he's doing a great job, you know? So it, it's, it, it took some time, and, and, um, and it's, you know, it, it's taking some time for some of our other players to, you know, um, to, to kind of get into the flow and understand the principles of, uh, you know, offense and defense, so, but, you know, from every guy, we need something. You know, this is a, this is a really good league, and, and I feel like we're, we're uh, at the bottom trying to climb up and try to swim, and, you know, for us, for our guys to win and have success, we got to play 40 minutes of, of great basketball. You shot 57% in the second half, and I know the defense led the offense, but what specific things did you try to focus on in that second half to, well, to, to you know, score the ball? You know, uh, we took some uh, questionable shots uh, in the uh, in the first half. Uh, we, we weren't patient enough, and, and I thought second half we were a lot more patient. And, uh, you know, we still, because we, in the first half even, we got to the rim and missed a lot of layups, you know, uh, because we were afraid of their shot blocking ability, which, you know, they had four tonight, and even in the second half, they got a couple. Um, but I thought our guys kind of settled down a little bit. And, um, and, and, and you know, we, our patience, our patience was there to where we were getting, you know, open, open looks. I remember Tim coming off of a, a dribble handoff, and he was at 15 feet, and, and knocked down a wide open 15 feet jump shot, and that's what we want. You know, we, we don't want it to be where, hey, we're gonna work hard on defense, and, and get lucky on defense, and then uh, come back down and just take quick shots all the time, but just have some patience. You guys took 10 threes today. If that's not a season, though, that has to be really <laughs> close to you guys. Was, were you guys, was that game plan, just well, be more aggressive? Yeah, you know, and that's kind of the way we want to play because we haven't shot the ball very well at all from the three-point line all year. Um, I think we're getting better with some other guys stepping up, you know, uh, Christian being three for three today. Uh, Mo didn't shoot it well today. Um, but at the same time, though, we can't just settle on – uh, taking threes, you know. Um, now, if we were light shot shooters, oh, most certainly a ten is too low, you know. But the fact that we're not a, a three-point shooting team, um, and, and 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 I think we're getting better. But at the same time, we we got to settle more for getting getting the basketball in the lane and, and and getting the basketball inside to our big guys. And I thought our bigs did a tremendous job finishing inside too uh, when we did get the basketball into the, them tonight. Same question I ask the players. Do you guys think this week could be a turning week for you guys this year? Well, you know what? You hope so. You hope so. And, and um, you know, just the game of basketball and the, and the game of sport, you know, you're not ready for the next one. And most definitely you're going to get beat. Um, so, 
it, it can't be like a turning point to where, okay, all of a sudden we got to figure it out. Because I can tell you this, even from a coach, players, whoever it is, anytime you think you got to figure it out, I'm telling you, you're, you're going to get your butt kicked the next, next time. So, you know, we, we just see it as a great win, and we, we're going to try to keep building on it and, and try to go out and get the next one. And that's all we're going to focus on is, is the next game. And your main goal is to stop Murray's penetration like they had said, was to stop them penetrating and kicking out? Or You know what? We knew that they had great shooters, um, so we know one-on-one -on -one, um, defense was going to be key for us because anytime you help, uh, they just, I mean, they got lights out shooters, man. They got guys that are shooting 35, 35, 40% from threes. You know, so we had to play great uh, on the basketball and, and, and contain pain because he, he's so deadly. He's a good passer and a great scorer. You know, for, for him being a freshman, he plays with great poise. You know, he, he, I'm, I'm glad he had an off night tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you just talk. I, I said five and three earlier to Roselle, but it's six and three at home now. Um, yeah, don't, don't cheat us out of a, of a <laughs> win now at home. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, you know, you guys just seem to be really making a home field advantage here. Uh, you know what? Well. And, and, you know, I said this on Thursday. Our, our fans make it uh, fun for us to play at home. And um, to, today was a great atmosphere for, for us, and I thought our guys played with a lot of energy because of the, of the fan, fans. But um, at the same time, we got to go out on the road and win some games, and we got to play tougher. You know, I think we made too many mental mistakes. Um, when, I mean, we made some tonight, you know, but we have a crowd behind us. Uh, but on the road, we just got to, we can't make those same type of mistakes that we, we make at home to, uh, to, to win on the road. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you.